With the rise in plant-based diets, an increase in the consumption of seeds has risen as well. Almond milk, pesto, and tahini are some examples of seed-based concoctions. These foods, when prepared correctly, can be delicious, but if prepared without the necessary care, could be very irritating to the stomach and cause problems for the body long-term. Humans have been collecting seeds and grains like wild rice, quinoa, and wheat since, well, since forever. Our ancestors knew that washing, soaking, and even sprouting seeds were important steps in making seeds edible and nutritious. Somehow, soaking nuts and seeds, which is a crucial part of the process, is left out of most nutty recipes, and I can hold my silence no longer. Today I want to provide a counterbalance to the myth that seeds are healthy when eaten raw or without soaking. I'm not an expert in nutrition, but I do have a background in herbalism and anthropology, and what I can say for certain about diet is that eating seeds raw or cooked without first washing off their anti-nutrients is, well, it's not so nutritious. So, what are anti-nutrients? Grains, beans, nuts, and pulses are all seeds, and seeds don't really want to be eaten. The life goal of a seed is to be sown into the earth and grow into a plant that goes on to make hundreds of seeds of its own. Seeds, unlike animals, don't have teeth, spikes, or the ability to run away from predators. They had to develop a defense mechanism, which we call anti-nutrients. This is like an invisible membrane around the seed that has a bitter or soapy flavor or otherwise releases chemicals that block the absorption of minerals, vitamins, and other nutrients upon eating. This can manifest in a variety of ways. The seeds may pass through the digestive tract, releasing anti-nutrients without being digested at all, or they can cause a lot of discomfort. This is a big reason why so many people have a lot of gas after eating beans and other legumes. The beans haven't been soaked properly before cooking. Here in our household, we eat a varied diet that changes with the seasons as much as possible. Even so, there are plenty of goods that I can't get fresh. And so we often consume cooked beans, almond milk, sesame and tahini, and a few other seeds that I grow into sprouts. The process of soaking really is simple. In a bowl or jar, I add the amount of beans or seeds needed, give them a rinse, pour out that water, then fill the bowl until the beans are totally covered with filtered water. This water will soak all night until the next morning when I then dump out all that water in the garden or on a potted plant. The water that the beans or seeds soaked in is full of anti-nutrients that are detrimental to human health, but are useful for plants. At this point, the beans or seeds can be prepared into a meal. Beans and lentils can be boiled until soft with salt and other condiments. Almonds can be made into milk or toasted. But if you want to, the process can continue, and instead of simply soaking these legumes or seeds, you can sprout them as I usually do with alfalfa seeds. Once the seeds have soaked a full night, then drained in the morning, they don't need to be soaked again, but they do need to be washed once or twice a day from then on. To wash, I simply fill the jar with water, let it sit for about five minutes, and then dump out the water using a small metal filter that fits nicely over the lip of the jar and keeps the seeds in. Forgetting to rinse the seeds daily will lead to mold and terrible smells, so I keep them on the kitchen counter where they cannot be forgotten. This applies to pretty much everything. Lentils, beans, sunflower seeds, but for some reason, not chia. Chia seeds should be soaked in water for at least a few hours before consuming, or else they will stick to your insides. Most often, I soak them in the fridge in filtered water where they will last about five days. Everything else, I store in a dark shelf in my kitchen. Sprouts don't need sunlight to grow, so this is a great way to grow your own food without access to land or during winter. Some, I sprout for just a few days or until I see a tail, which is their roots starting to grow. Others, like lentils, I tend to keep washing daily until I see little roots and leaves growing. That takes about a week. These seeds have been transformed into little plants and are less like carbohydrates and more like mini vegetables. Some people even call them superfoods because the nutrients that these little sprouts contain are dense. 
For me, soaking grains and sprouting seeds is one of my homesteading chores that doesn't require as much time, space, or money as other aspects of growing food. So if you haven't already, you may want to give this mini homesteading activity a try. At the very least, please soak your beans, nuts, and seeds before consuming. Thank you so much for following along.